Singapore scientists have developed a new method to remove phosphate from wastewater. And the main ingredient used is a kind of bacteria. Having too much phosphate in the water before it's discharged into the sea, well, that increases the chances of algae blooms, which are harmful to humans and animals. Telling us more tonight is Professor Stefan Wurtz. He is Deputy Centre Director at the Singapore Centre for Environmental Life Sciences Engineering at NTU. He joins us now. Professor, thanks for joining us. There are already ways to remove phosphate. Why the need to develop this new technique? Thank you for asking and thank you for having me. The existing methods that are chemical in nature involve precipitation, so addition of specific chemicals like aluminum or iron, and one ends up with a chemical sludge, which is not the most sustainable way to remove phosphate. And so biological means are preferred. And uh, our invention, our discovery, is to um, make this biological process possible at higher temperatures, such as found here in Singapore, and uh, also in view of possibly rising um, water temperatures in the future. So this is a better, more innovative way uh, to remove phosphate from waste wastewater. What is the process involved uh, in using this bacteria, though, to, to, to make this removal? What, what, what needs to happen? Wastewater treatment plants, which of course are called used water treatment plants in Singapore for good reason, because the water can be reused afterwards. These treatment plants contain biological uh, uh, tanks with communities of microbes, not just one or two or three. It is estimated that there are about 5,000, 5,500 different species of microbes in wastewater in wastewater treatment plants. And so it is not just one organism doing all the work. We have to consider the competition between these organisms that can remove phosphate and other organisms which are also looking for the same kind of carbon sources and the same type of energy to grow. And so this competition is what has been difficult to implement in regions of higher temperature. And that's what we managed to, to do here in Singapore. Professor Wurtz, when the layperson thinks of bacteria, they, they might think of a bacteria within the body, uh, that, that there is good bacteria, there's bad bacteria. But when we think about it in water, uh, and, and now you're saying we're using it intentionally uh, to remove this phosphate, should we have any cause for concern at all? Absolutely none. The um, used water treatment plants and the processes are well understood in terms of the risk that the uh, uh, treated water might pose to anybody uh, coming in contact with it. In fact, that's why we disinfect the water after it has been treated. The uh, really, um, I think, unique thing about biological used water treatment is the fact that there are so many different, mostly bacteria, that are all working together, which we are beginning to learn more about as we apply modern sequencing techniques and combine that with engineering practice. So no, absolutely no worries about the organisms that are removing the phosphate. They are harmless. Well, Professor Wurtz, thank you very much for providing clarity on this novel method of water treatment, Professor. Uh, Stefan Wurtz there from the Singapore Centre for Environmental Life Sciences Engineering at NTU.